My whole life, I've always gravitated towards, you know, the arts, whether it was drawing, painting, music, um, dancing. And even like growing up, I would always like rearrange my bedroom. I was like a creative problem solver, always trying to find the best solution for me. Um, and I loved that. My name is Katherine Anderson. I graduated from CPFA in Palks in 2016. So I ended up transferring um, out halfway through eighth grade to cyber school to try Palks first to make sure I liked it and then was admitted into fall 2012 of CPFA. And I took just about every single art class uh, possible I could take. I took sculpture, drawing, I took photography, which was so cool. I actually didn't even get to do photography in college, so that was like a skill that I was only able to learn at CPFA, which is super special. Um, I also was in dance classes. I love dance and it's, I danced my whole entire life. Um, so I just, it's really important for me to include that, even though I love art and design um, and making. I also love dancing and it's a way to express myself. Yeah, so once I heard about Pauks, it really attracted me because of the freedom and the independence it would give me in terms of allocating my own schedule, but also not having a schedule at all. If I wanted to be, in, if I was inspired one day and wanted to draw and sketch and it was like 12 in the afternoon, I could just stop my homework and do that. And then when I heard about CPFA, I was just like completely sold on the whole concept. I was like, I can't believe that like a type of schooling exists where I'm able to learn remotely, but also attend in-person schooling and explore and experiment in the things that really make me feel inspired. Um, Parsons was a dream school, but it was also a reach school for me. I almost applied just because I thought it would be cool to like brag that I got in. Um, and I ended up getting in with a scholarship, which allowed me to then go because it was um, not attainable because of how expensive it is. Um, but because of that, I was able to go to this dream school I really never thought I could be able to. And when I was a junior in college, I really wanted to get into the industry. So I decided to look for an internship. And while I was lurking, I found Taylor Spellman New York. And what really interested me about that job was that they had a staging branch. And that was something that was really, really interested me. And I thought that would be a really amazing job to have. So so I just decided to go for it, apply for the job. I got the interview and was hired on the spot, started two days later as a interior design assistant. When I initially got hired, I, One Week to Sell didn't exist. I, it was nothing I even knew was coming for me in my near future. Um, it wasn't for months after I got hired, Taylor came to us with the incredible news that she was able to host her own TV show, One Week to Sell. And then when she told us that like we were gonna be <laughs> included, I was like in shock. I was like, this can't be happening to me. Like the, I was just so excited for the opportunity um, and to even have this type of experience in my life. I mean, I think it's important that if you want to do, you know, design or something, you want to learn something really technical, that you have the motivation and drive to do it because it's not easy. Um, school was, when I went to Parsons, it was really difficult. The training was hard and challenging, but like it makes it that much more rewarding. And I took that much more out of it. So if you have these dreams and these aspirations in life, don't think they're too wild because you're definitely capable of doing it. You just have to work hard, stay motivated, make goals for yourself. I always did and it helped so much. Um, you know, as long as you're working in the path towards your final end goal, you will get there. Just stay happy, stay motivated, and just love what you're doing.